You're listening to Pet World Radio, and this is the Addictive Reef Keeping with Tyler Johnson. Stay tuned for live chats, expert guests, tips and tricks, product reviews, and many more topics. All right, guys, Tyler Johnson here. I figured I would show you guys what my next project is, and that's moving a 150-gallon reef tank here at Greenleaf Garden Center. So these guys have a couple grow shops, one in Bend and one here in Redmond where I live. So they actually gave me a call and asked me to move their reef tank to their new store location and pretty much deck it out. So why don't you guys come inside with me and I'll show you guys my steps and my process on moving these fish and coral 14 miles from here. Alright guys, I'm inside Greenleaf Garden Center. As you guys can see, this is the 150 that I have shot in the previous videos. I think it was about two years ago when Indoor Garden Supply owned this shop. Well now, Anthony, the owner of Greenleaf, has asked me to move this tank to his bin location and trick it out. So, I guess you guys can see how nasty the tank looks. That's what happens when you neglect your tank for years on end without doing regular maintenance. So, it's going to be kind of tricky getting this tank back to the where it needs to be, but we'll get her done. So, as you guys can see, I have the manifold over here, and all I've done was thread on attachment for a garden hose. So these these hoses that you guys see right here, they're for potable water, they're used for RVs or your boats, so they're not gonna release any BPAs into your water. The biggest thing to do on this, guys, we're gonna load all the rock up, put all the coral in bags that we can fit in bags, and I'll bag up all the fish, except for the fox face, due to his spines, and we'll put them inside this bucket. So I'm going to get to work. I'll show you guys a little bit of the footage of draining the tank and moving some of the coral in there. And uh, I'll meet you guys at the other side. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the tank is half full now. I pretty much got all the rock out, caught the bitch that's uh, the clownfish that sits there and bites you the whole time. But other than that, we got all our precious corals in this tank right here. Just a few fish in here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in the trailer. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, this is the 150 gallon Bayland sump. As you, I don't know if you guys could tell in the video, but this water's pretty yellow, so I can imagine how dirty this water is, and it's probably going to be pretty important for us to change out the water as soon as we get to the other site. But the good thing is we've got a bit of bacteria here on the rocks, got a bit of bacteria here on the water, and uh, it should help us sustain life for a few weeks while we build the new system. So what's left guys? I guess the last part of this move is going to be removing the fish. So as you guys can see uh, in that video I just showed you of the Bayland sump, you can see the clownfish is already in his bag. Now uh, for these other fish, I have the option to bag them or I have the option to put them in a bucket. Realistically, the fish is probably going to be good for 24 hours um, without oxygen. But you know, something as simple as throwing a fish in a little bag you know, putting a rubber band on there and throwing it inside a styrofoam box is just as simple as dropping it in your bucket or uh, in a sump or something like that. So I think the best thing to do is just bag the fish up. We know they're good. I got liquid oxygen here. We'll add some oxygen, which isn't that big of a deal uh, on such a short move. But at least now, if for some reason we were to lose our water, um, get in an accident or something like that, at least the fish are safe inside a styrofoam box. So I'm going to get to boxing those up. I'll show you guys uh, how that looks in just a few moments. So I'm on my way to bed to Greenleaf Garden Center, their other location, and uh, this is where we're going to be offloading the tank and setting it up. Uh, for the meantime, I'm just going to be putting the Bayland 150-gallon stock tank in a climate-controlled room. 
we'll go ahead and add about anywhere from 50 to 60 gallons of fresh salt water to the system. And we will also be dosing stability by CCAM. And this is going to control our ammonia while uh, our new system cycles. So I'm going to uh, get my eyes on the road, and then after that, I will show you guys the, the uh, specimens that we have in uh, different locations, bags, buckets, and in the stock tank itself. I'll show you guys how I transported the live rock, and uh, from there we'll uh, set this up. So see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so I just showed up at Greenleaf Garden Center here in Bend. I know it's kind of hard to hear, guys, but uh, it's windy out. But if you guys look, it is beautiful, nice and sunny, barely any clouds in the sky. But this is my first time here, and I got to say, guys, I am impressed with the way this place looks inside. I think you guys are going to freak when you guys see where this tank is going. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys inside for a silent tour, and then uh, we'll get to unloading this tank. As you guys can see, you got the 150 gallon Bayland sump here with all the livestock. Some are bagged up. All the live rocks in here full of water. So we're going to transfer that water out, get this on the ground, and get these doors closed because it's cold. All right, guys, as you guys can see, all the fish have survived. Skimmer's um, not in its break-in period, but uh, pretty much running at a safe distance right now before we actually crank it up. Making some RO here. We're ordering the glass for the sump, and uh, we'll show you guys my design. I think it's gonna be pretty wicked once you guys see it all hooked up. All right, guys, so I'm here on the spot where this tank is going to go, and as you guys can see from the video footage, this is how you walk into the store. So you walk through here, got this little bog terrarium here, some uh, succulent plants and things like that, and then you can see the rest of the store. So this is pretty much going to be a main focal point for when you walk in. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a rack welded up for here, and we'll have the 150 right here, with all these plants around it and then down below in the shelf we will have a 125 gallon sump with a frag tank, a macro tank and in between those two there will be an algae scrubber protein skimmer and return right there I'll go back into the tank. So this tank is going to be 
really cool looking. We're going to end up JB welding some of the rocks together and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But uh, other than that guys, the move went real successful. Um, I couldn't have said it had, could have gone any better than it did. Uh, temperature was a little cold when we got here, but having the extension cords out and ready to plug in really helped. Um, other than that, guys, stay tuned for this tank getting set up. We just drilled another hole in there. We'll be uh, installing a cow flow siphon on this, so this thing is really going to scream. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like the uh, video and comment if you guys have any questions.